Hey everybody, Joy here. No coffee, just some water with a little bit of cranberry, strawberry, something else in it. Ah, it is Wednesday, November 11, 2020, and I have been so anxious to make you guys a video today. <laughs> but things keep happening. <laughs> For one thing, I didn't get any sleep last night. We had a phone call just before bedtime last night from a loved one in our family, and the call was from jail. And so that was very upsetting to Jerry and I both until we talked about it in length. And then I couldn't go to sleep. So then I just drug around this morning like a droopy teddy bear. I was just, hmm, I don't want to get out of my pajamas, and I don't want to get off this couch. I don't want to take a shower. <laughs> and Jerry had physical therapy. So I just lay here on this couch for hours. I never do that. But it was just one of those mornings. And I was just like complaining to God. I just, why this and why that and why this and why that? And how does this happen? And how does that happen? And why, 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 why? So finally, Jerry got home from physical therapy, and he was all sweet and huggy, and, and so I went out and I fixed us both lunch. And so then I said, I'm just going to go get in my bed and sleep for the rest of the day. So I went into the bedroom, and I had to pick up. I was crying last night, you know, sad and everything. So I had all these Kleenex on the floor, so I picked up all the Kleenex and carried him into the bathroom. And then when I got into the bathroom, I thought, well, I'm right here by the shower. There it is, and here I am. I might as well get in it. <laughs> so, I got in the shower. And oh my gosh, did I ever feel better after that. And while I was in the shower, Jerry was getting all of his camouflage fishing clothes on. Because today is not a windy day. And since he didn't get to go yesterday on the lake, he's going to go today. So he was doing that, and I got out and I got cleaned up, and I thought, all right, I'm going to go make my video now. And then guess what happened? Can you hear it? The lawnmower people showed up. Is there any grass to mow? No. They come here. I don't even like them to come here to do this. But in the fall, you know, we have hundreds of trees, and in the fall, the leaves all fall on the ground, and I love it when the leaves all fall on the ground. I think they're beautiful and I love to walk through them and I love to see them. Well, they come here and they blow all the leaves off of our property. And I don't like that. <laughs> and Jerry said, it's not good for the grass, Joy, for those leaves to be on it. Well, somebody should have told God that then, right? I just think that's silly. But anyway, they're still out here blowing leaves away and they're way out by the little pond now. So hopefully you can't hear. First, the mower guy goes over them. And he blows them out into the our uh, driveway. And then the, the people, there's two people with blowers, and they blow them all over out into the woods. So three, three things going at the same time out there. But I think it's far enough away that you can hear me and see what I'm doing without the lawnmowers making too much noise. I hope so. Because it's like 2 o'clock, and I don't want to wait anymore to open these two packages. You know, yesterday I was on... And I got the great big box from Becky. And then after I got the great big box from Becky, I got the big envelope from um, Nancy Hurt. And so then, after that video was done, and I edited it and I got it up, I came downstairs and these two packages were sitting on the floor in the kitchen. <laughs> so yesterday was a major package day. And today there's no mail, so... Anyway, you want to see what I got? I'm sure it's fabric from Fabric Mart Fabric because it's in the... Let me sit down. Oh, gosh, it's heavy. It's in the plastic bags. Fabric Mart Fabric in their plastic bags. I can tell it's from them, too, because it's from Sinking Springs, Pennsylvania. Now, y'all pray that I don't knock this water over with this fabric. I drink a lot of water. Okay, 
Let me see if I can open it without destroying the fabric. Let me see. I'm going to pull the corner of the bag out here, and I'm going to cut the corner off. Okay. I just love my little living room here, especially since the table came. <gasps> There's not very many in here, believe it or not. There's only like three pieces. Wow. And they're all just boring, solid colors. Super boring, solid colors. No receipt, no paper, no nothing. Okay? So, I don't know why they didn't give me a paper, but they didn't. So I evidently bought these to make some fall colored pants to go with the fall colored shirts I've been making lately. Can you guys even see me? Here I am. I'm telling you, I'm like half inch tall in that, that viewfinder over there. Okay, yes, I got this kind of avocado -y green. They call it crocodile green. And I got it to make pants with for that. One of those shirts I bought that I decided to wear for a jacket, one of the collar shirts that I'm wearing for a jacket, well, I needed some green pants to go with it. All of these are for that top. <laughs> the top I may wear once a year. I've got three pieces of fabric to make pants out of for it. So... This is a really pretty one. Woven. It is a fine twill stretch. Stretch? Really? Itty bitty teeny weeny, hardly any stretch. Crocodile green polyester rayon lycra. Fine twill stretch, lightweight suiting. Very nice. Very nice. Of course, has to be washed. Of course. And of course this color, you want to see how horrible I look in avocado green? Horrible. <laughs> but, from the waist down, <laughs> nobody's going to be seeing my face down there. Let's hope it hadn't fallen that far yet. Alrighty. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, I obviously bought enough to make pants twice out of that. Now this is a very pretty color. Now this color, it won't be by my face either, and it's probably not horrible on me. But, um... It's very nice also. It's a light sandstone cotton lycra stretch fine twill bottom weight woven. Very nice. Did it say stretch on this one? It would be nice if you had a memory when you were 70 years old. <laughs> yes, this one has quite a bit of stretch. And it's very nice. This will make a beautiful pair of pants. Or a skirt. Or a skirt. Oh, I like that a lot. Uh, now, remember, it's not going to be around my face. It's going to be around my waist and from there down. Pants. Very nice. Very nice. And this is beautiful. What is this? This is pretty stuff. I don't usually buy this nice of stuff. <laughs> there for the longest time, Fabric Mart wasn't having very good prices on things, I didn't think. But then they got back down again, so they were like $6 a yard. And $6 a yard is a good price. I know we're used to paying $3.99 or $3 or something, but $6 is still a really good price. All right, muted tan, cotton, lycra, stretch twill bottom weight. So all three of these are stretch twill bottom weight. And will make fabulous pants. Oh my gosh, another really nice pant. I don't know if you could tell those two apart. One is more yellow, and one is more just beigey. Yeah. All right, let's see if anything more exciting is in the next bag. That was package number one from Sinking Springs. I feel like I'm sinking in this couch, and you can't even see me. <laughs> oh, let's cut the corner. Ah. <sighs> This one, they actually aren't packed. You notice that they did use two, two bags this time. So that was nice of them. Especially if I just had to pay the freight once. My scissors won't cut. Ugh. What happens to scissors? Ooh. Oh, this one is so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is so pretty. Cornflower blue, dark pink, moss green, multi, 100% cotton painterly, and amp. Amp? Amp. Painterly and amp. I have no idea what amp is. But let's look at this. Oh my goodness. Is that pretty or what? 
Mm. Probably goes with the pants I'm wearing. Yes, let's play like we just made a blouse. I don't have a mirror or anything I can see in, so use your imagination. <laughs> let's use our imagination today, class. Oh, this is gorgeous. And it does match my pink pants. Oh, my goodness. It is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to sneak over here to see in the mirror. Oh, my gosh. That is so pretty. You want to see it up close? I'll hold it real still and let the light shine on it. Oh, my goodness. Now, I just ordered this. Probably, it's probably been two weeks since I ordered it. But boy, if they still have it, it is just beautiful. It feels like silk or satin. Let me see if it has any stretch. Did I read it to see what it is? Yes, I did. Mm -mm, it's the one that has the amp in it. Maybe that's an amplifier. <gasps> ah! So pretty. <sighs> that is just so pretty. I'm sorry, I know when I get near the camera, it sounds like I'm yelling. I'll get back over here where it's not so loud. You know, I wish other people would do something so I could hear them. So many people make videos and I can barely hear them. Thank goodness Jerry bought me those things you can stick in your ears so you can hear the sound. Let me see what else I bought. This is strange. This is two different colors. It's one color on one side. This would be cool for something where both sides show because it's that color on one side and a different color on the other side. Does that show? See? That would be kind of, although they don't seem to go together at all. It's very stretchy. That is, I don't want to hit that chandelier. We haven't gotten the chandelier moved up yet from our formal, formal dining room. I probably bought this to go with those fall blouses that I made also. So, it's very nice. Feels really good. Let's see what they called this one. Let's see what you're called. Can you hear the mowers? Oh, I want to go out and say, go away, go away, leave my leaves alone. Punch pink cotton polyester lycra stretch twill bottom weight imported oh it's imported from somewhere <laughs> who knows oh my gosh that's a beautiful one very very pretty now this one i just thought was cute i love polka dots and this is another silky one gosh i don't usually get silky stuff pure red navy blue 100 percent cotton polka dot print shirt weight satin it's a satin and so that's how come it looks and feels like satin. Very nice. Let's see if it stretches at all. Are you stretchy? This is really cute. I think I was going to make that blouse. Remember the blouse I bought? It's kind of a goldish yellow on the envelope. And it's got the tie up here at the neck. I was going to make um, that out of this. So that would be two red blouses that I had out of that fabric. <laughs> This is very nice, very nice, but it has no stretch whatsoever. It is a woven. And I'm thinking all of these were like $6 a yard. Now this one I wasn't sure if I liked or I didn't like. I don't know. It's, it looks like a tablecloth to me. I don't think it's going to look good on me. It looks like a tablecloth or napkins. Oh my God, I might make napkins out of it. I have a blue kitchen, blue and white kitchen. That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> White, deep steel, blue, 100% cotton, rugged floral print, slubbed, slubbed, shirt weight. Yeah. Yeah. No stretch. One lady said, um, one of my subs said, they don't ever have any wovens. And they usually don't. I have a very, very hard time finding wovens. They obviously are not a quilt shop. What do you think? What do you think? Looks like I'm wearing the tablecloth or the curtains like in Gone with the Wind. <laughs> oh, yes, well, that is just lovely, my dear. Okay. You want to see it up close? Let me hold it up close. Do y'all know about Fabric Mart Fabrics, why I shop there? 
Number one reason why I shop there. Who knows? Raise your hands. Yes, you in the back. You with the red hair. Why is it I always shop at Fabric Mart Fabrics? Yes, yes, that's right. You've been paying attention. <laughs> it's because they always hang their fabric. See, look at the difference when you hang it. They always hang their fabric over a stool. They always hang it over a stool and they take a picture. And it just is so telling on whether it's a stripe, whether it's a diagonal, whether it's a big print, whether it's a small print. So if you're not familiar with fabricmartfabrics.com, be sure you put an S on fabrics. Fabric, fabric without the S, fabric mart, and then fabrics with the S.com. Click on one of the squares, like you'll see a little bitty square of this. Click on the square and it will open up another screen. And on the other screen, they will have four or five pictures of this. One of them will have it all like wrinkled up. Uh, one of them will have it totally flat. One of them will have it twisted. But the last picture on the bottom, you'll have to click on the arrow most times. Click on the arrow and one more picture will show up and it will be the fabric hanging on a stool. That tells you so so much that you cannot see on other websites. I don't know why every website doesn't do it. Ooh, this is pretty. I don't think this is my color, but it is beautiful. 100% premium cotton. It's got little leaves on it. It is very pretty. It feels expensive. I don't wear anything expensive because I'm too cheap to pay for it. George Peggy Sagers, you know Peggy Sagers. Um, I love Peggy. I have an issue with her patterns, but I love Peggy. And if you don't know it, she has a live one-hour YouTube video every other Tuesday night, and she always shows a bunch of garments. She makes like half a dozen garments every week. I don't know how on earth she does it. And she shows them on mannequins, and she talks about her specialty, in my opinion. In my opinion, one thing she's really, really good at is she finds something that she loves in a store. She goes to these real expensive stores, and she'll show you pictures of it in the catalog if, if they have them. And these garments, they're just nothing. They're just nothing. One of them was a square. A square cape. Just super, super simple like you'd buy at Sam's or Walmart. This is like $3,000. Some of those things are $12,000. I think one of them was like $38,000 for a coat. I'm like, dear Lord, where does she shop? Obviously, it's not at Walmart where I go. <laughs> Her Target. <laughs> Her pennies. <laughs> but what she'll do is she will go to these stores and she will try the actual very, very, very expensive garment on. She'll go into a, a, a room where you try clothes on and she always carries a measuring tape. And so she will measure the garment and she will figure out how to go home and recreate the garment for pennies compared to what they want for it at the store. Yeah, she's really, really, really good at that. So I highly recommend watching her videos. Okay, this Saturday she's having a sew along on something. What is she sewing? I don't remember what she's sewing, but one of her patterns. I'm looking for the label on this, y'all. If you see it, will you holler at me? Oh, yeah, 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 here it is. Navy straw black, 100% cotton, leaf print sateen. These sateens are beautiful. This one has absolutely no stretch. Let me hang it on a stool for you. Let me hang it on a stool. Hmm? How about that? Is that a good stool? It's got perfume on it, y'all. Woo! I'm so allergic to perfume. I wonder how it got perfume on it. Oh, oh, beautiful stuff. I don't think I can wear that color. It's kind of a muted, deep purple. But it is, it is really pretty. I have to send that to Viv. Viv makes the most gorgeous dresses, doesn't she? Of course, she's, you know, she's tall. And she's got that hair. Oh, that hair. <laughs> oh, when you have very...
very thin little hair like I do, you'll always notice people who have beautiful hair. My friend Terry, she got enough hair for 10 people. Just unbelievable. And I have a sister with hair like that, believe it or not. Four kids, same mom, same dad. That mower's still out there. Whew. Same mom, same dad, four kids. I know all my clothes are baggy now, you guys. I'm sorry, they just are. <laughs> Everything's suddenly so baggy. But four kids. First, there's me. Now, I was born with more hair than I have now. I had thick, thick, black hair when I was born. You would have thought, oh my God, fantastic, marvelous. No. <laughs> I think it fell off before I was three months old. And then my, my next sister was born with very thin blonde hair. Blonde. Thin blonde hair. She has enough hair like Terry for 10 people. It is so thick, she goes to the beauty shop to have it thinned out. Hello, what is that about? Then, there's my sister, my other sister. The next one, there's three of us. She was born with dark brown curls. Curls. She got away with murder because she was so blasted cute. She had these cute little weepy eyes and these natural curls and she was just so cute. Mother could not spank her, could not tell her no. <laughs> So she's got really thin hair like me, only hers is all curly. Then there was my brother, and he's got thick, 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 thick hair like a rug, only his is curly. So it's so weird. One's got real thick straight, one's got real thick curly, one's got real thin curly, and one has real thin straight me. <laughs> Isn't that something? All right, this is very pretty. These are gorgeous. I'm glad I ordered these. If even to give some of them away, they don't look good on me. This is a beautiful black and white. Again, that pretty blouse with the bow on it. Oh, like I'm ever going to go anywhere. Oh. <clears throat> white, black, 100% cotton stretch, floral branches, print, shirt, weight, woven. Yes, lovely. No stretch. You want me to put it over a stool for you? Let me put it over a stool. Now, they probably still have these because I just got them. I mean, they, got, they arrived yesterday. Okay, so there's the stool. <laughs> Doesn't that just tell you so much? It really does. All right, what was that, about seven pieces? Yeah. So, that means it's time to go put them all in the washer and then put them in the dryer and then take them upstairs and fold them and put them on bolts because I have lots of shelves left for more fabric and I'm so excited. But you know, I've been using a ton of fabric. I made that collar shirt three times, so that's three pieces of fabric. I made this Joy shirt four times, so that's four pieces of fabric. I made that Peggy Sager sleeveless top one time, so that was another piece of fabric. And that's just in the last couple weeks. You know, when I was doing the, um, the Fit Nice system, I think I made seven. I think I made seven shirts for the Fit Nice system videos. So that was seven pieces of fabric. So, hey, it's not like I don't really use it. I probably don't really wear it all. <laughs> when I get in my closet in the morning, I'll think, you need to find something that you haven't worn before, Joy, and um, a pattern that you haven't shown before, and then you can talk about that in your video. <laughs> but... You know, it's like everybody, you know, you usually go through wearing your favorites over and over and over again. All right, that's all I have for you today. I'm sure that you all watched my SureFit designs. Remember, it's coming on Sunday, and I figured out the time here. She put the time everywhere but here. So, she had a 1 o'clock, a 2 o'clock, and a 4 o'clock. And I thought, well, I wonder if we're at 3 o'clock. And sure enough, we're the 3 o'clock. So, that's her 90-minute live broadcast on Sunday. SureFitDesigns.com. And then after that, what did I show you yesterday? Goodness, I've slept since then. Oh, my packages. Of course, of course, my packages. And so I have to do button sorting duty. And um, I think the, I should turn this all off and start over because I think the, lawn, the lawnmower people just now loaded up to head out of here. So please forgive the lawnmower noise. I didn't want to wait any longer to open this up and show it because... 
I need to get it washed. So I'm going to let you go. I think they're just loading. It's very, very, very soft noise. I'm going to get a piece of chocolate for strength to keep my strength up. <laughs> you want to see my chocolate? Jerry read on the internet or somewhere that super, super, super dark chocolate is supposed to be good for you. I mean, it is so dark. It's expensive and it's dark. I can't even stand to look at it, never mind to eat it. But he's eating that chocolate three times a day. And so I thought, well, I need some chocolate. So, you know, I don't ever go anywhere. I don't go to the store or anything anymore because of COVID. So I got on um, Amazon and I thought, I wonder if you could buy chocolate from Amazon. Well, duh. You can buy everything from Amazon. And it's, you know, cooler now, so it won't melt coming to you. So I found this Dove. It comes in a bag, all three of these colors. You get gold and blue and red. So the red one's normal dark. The gold one is milk chocolate over caramel. And the blue one is just milk chocolate. So these are my chocolates. And yes, I'm on a diet. But I allow myself to have one of these a day. So, I'm going to have my one chocolate for today. Then I'm going to go wash my clothes. And then I'm going to go upstairs and organize, rearrange, count buttons, do something. But I'll be back soon. Bye for now.